Hello, in a previous video I showed how you could move board list forms using the mouse despite having no title bar to grab hold of. And in the comments to that video, a viewer called GoneFishing2006 asked Next insane question, can a board list form be resized using the mouse since there is no border to grab hold of? And the surprising answer to that is yes it can and I thought it was an excellent question that was worth following up and I'm going to show you how that's done in today's video. Now just to review the ideas here, most forms then are moved by dragging whilst holding down the mouse on the form's title bar. And if you have a sizeable border style you can also resize them by dragging on the border. But for borderless forms they have no title bar and they have no form edges so you can't grab hold of anything to move them or resize them in normal circumstances. But in a form like this then using code we can add both of those features and the first one drag form window me is all you need in order to do the dragging of a form from one place to another and to resize it a very similar bit of code resize form window me resize direction or resize dir here for short let's show you an example of that and i've also got one more bonus thing to show you as well so here's my form if i now just grab hold of this the cursor changes to a crossbar and we can drag that from anywhere on the screen to any new position and we can do that the same anywhere on the detail section which is blank and indeed anywhere on the footer section. I'll show you the code for that in just a second. For resizing it we just need to go somewhere near the edge within a hundred twips is the distance I decided anywhere where the cursor changes and then we can drag in the direction shown by the cursor and you'll see that we're only changing the size of the detail that's the way I chose to do it do it here we can change that both directions at once on the right hand side bottom and also on the left here as well but all we're changing is the size of the detail we can shrink it right down as well if we want to do so and then we can bring it back as before to the size that we actually want it to be. Now I said this only affects the detail the way I've chosen to do the code here. And if we have a form which has no header or footer we can do exactly the same as before. We can move it any empty space here and we can now change this again by going anywhere on the border we can change the size of this in exactly the same way. Let's go back to the previous one and we'll have a look at the, the code for this. Anywhere we actually put the mouse down in the form header or in the detail or in the form footer one of two things happen. If we are close to the edge then we resize it in the direction that the mouse is actually moved. If we are somewhere away from the edge then we drag the window here. So let's take the first of these simpler one which is what I described in a previous video then. So if we've got on the mouse on the detail section then mouse down anywhere at all which is blank then we can move that from one place to another. So drag form window me is all we need. Although we've got one line there that relies on two, PA, two APIs, send message, which is basically calling the window procedure for the specified window, and basically we're grabbing hold of the window here, and then we use something called release capture to release the mouse when we've finished actually doing the action there. So basically, when we put the mouse down, this changes the cursor to the four-headed arrow. It then grabs hold of the window, the form in this particular case, sends a message, and then we release this. It changes the cursor back to the normal arrow. For the second bit of code then, resize form window me, we have a similar event here. We're using exactly the same two APIs here. We've got two events here now. Now I'm grateful for a coder called Nick Fisson who back in 2009 did this in VB.net and for my 
colleague Zevi Battle from Spain who changed that from VB.net to VBA for me. And so all we have here then is two bits of code here. Resize form window me is what we put in here, which is the form we're acting on, and it then changes it to, sets the direction according to whichever way you're dragging the mouse. So it, you look at which the direction is here top left, bottom left, bottom right. You change the cursor as appropriate to the directions you actually can move it in, and then okay, you apply the code. As I said, if the border style is zero, then within a border width of 100, this, co this code applies here. So that's basically it. All right, very simple. <laughs> simple when you know how, obviously. And as I say, I'm grateful to the person who first produced that code many, many years ago. There's one extra little trick we can do on this as well. And if you see here, I've got an axis icon. Watch carefully to do this. The form doesn't move. But the whole axis window moves and so I can actually drag that off screen and get back to my previous screen here which I will do in just a second here. This uses a different bit of code, mod app window, it's a bit more complicated here using different APIs here and then right when we click on the axis icon command window there drag down then so it's a basically applying the code here on that form it's a very complicated API I'm not going to attempt to explain it but basically it moves form and application window together let's do that again get that out of the way and we're back to our PowerPoint if for nothing else it's useful for that reason and that really is all I want to show you today so once again, thanks for watching. If you found it useful, please add a like, leave a comment, suggest topics for future videos, and do subscribe. I'll see you soon.